fast or whatever. Are you ready to get away from paper piecing? Let's move from paper piecing to flying geese. We're going to do the block called Road Less Travel. That block is scattered throughout the quilt. Sometimes they have two geese, sometimes they have three. The trunks of the trees are different sizes. Now, if you have a favorite flying goose ruler, then you can use that. But if you do not own a flying goose ruler, then this is the ruler I recommend. This is Quilt in a Day, and it's called Calling All Geese. With this, you can do eight different sizes. Previously, before this one was introduced, the Quilt in a Day rulers only did two sizes each. So you would have had to have gotten four rulers to do what this one ruler will do. Okay, to start with, we have to make what I'm calling the tree trunk on this. And you can just follow the instructions here. They are strip pieced. You're going to sew a background, the red, and a background together. You'll sew those strips together, and then you will cut them to the different sizes that are specified. So that does the base of your tree. Now, to move into our flying geese, this is a wonderful technique. Uh, there are several that I use, and this is one of them. And we're gonna use one large square and four small squares. With this, I can make four flying geese with this pattern. So to start with, just use the measurements that are given in the book. And I'm going to take and I'm going to place a background square in the corner. Then I'm gonna to go to the other side and I'm also going to put a background square there. Now, I'm gonna pull out my handy dandy sandboard that I told you about earlier and I'm gonna move this to my sandboard. And what I'm going to do is I'm just with my friction pen, I am going to draw the diagonal. If you feel a little uncomfortable leaving those loose, you can always just add a couple of pins. Make sure that you have them far enough away from that drawn line so that you don't hit them when you sew. So once I get my pins in, then what I'm going to do is I am going to take this to my sewing machine and I am going to sew a quarter of an inch away from that line and I'm going to do that on both sides. Now I'm just gonna go down and I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch on each side. Now we turn it and we sew down the other side. Now the line that we drew now becomes our cutting line. I'm going to remove my pins. And then I'm just going to put this right down on that line that I drew and I'm going to cut it. And then we'll bring it to the table and I always do my seam allowance towards the smaller squares. So you'll do this with both of them and you end up something that kind of looks like a funky heart. Or a fox, it kind of looks like a fox with his ears, you know? Yeah, it does look like <laughs> a fox. Draw little eyeballs. Uh -huh. You'd have a fox. Now I'm going to take my next square and I'm gonna put it down in the corner. And 
and I'm going to draw the diagonal on this corner. I'm going to put a couple of pins in each side so it doesn't shift on me. And then it's back to the sewing machine where we're going to sew a quarter of an inch down each side of this line. So I go down one side, I pull it out, flip it over, and then go down my other side. Now again, that line that I drew now becomes my cutting line. So once I do that with the other piece and with this and get it all cut apart, and when I press it, I will now have four flying geese. But now the flying geese need to be cut down to size. Now we've got to cut this down. We want this to measure three and a half inches tall by six and a half inches wide. As you see, it's a little wonky, but that's okay, it's oversized. So to use the calling all geese ruler, I always tell my people, have your goose where it's flying across you. And then I'm going to take with this ruler, this upper triangle, and I'm gonna put my goose in that upper triangle. This slit right here is where my rotary cutter. So I will cut it off and you will end up with your quarter inch seam allowance here. Now you're gonna wanna turn it where your goose is flying away from you. And you're gonna turn your ruler and there is a lower triangle. And I'm going to put my goose in the lower triangle, making sure that the top of my piece lines up with this green line here. Now, our piece is three and a half by six and a half, but on here they give finish sizes. So a three and a half by six and a half finishes at three by six. So once I get it all lined up, I'm going to find the line that says three by six and a half. And I'm just going to follow that line to the end so that I know that right here and right here are my cutting slots. So I'm just going to put my rotary cutter in there. I'm going to trim that side and then I'm going to trim that side. Now I'm going to turn it over onto its side and I'll need a traditional ruler for this. I know that this mesh is supposed to measure three and a half. So I take my ruler, I line it up with my three and a half and it just so happens that I have nothing to trim off here. Sometimes you have just a hair that needs to come off the bottom. So now when I do that with all of them, I now have four of these. So you're gonna go through and you're gonna make all the different colors. Just use the pattern, it'll show you which color goes where, and you will just stack your flying geese. Let me cut one more, and I'll show you about how to put two together. So let's go back first. Got my goose flying across. I put it in the upper triangle. and I cut my top and then I have it flying away from me and then I line it up into the bottom triangle. Again, I'm gonna find the end of my three by six. So I'm going to cut the sides. Then I'll use, ooh, nothing like taking out the cameraman. 
Then I'm going to line up my three and a half inches. Now you see on this one, I do have just a smidge that needs to come off the bottom. So when you place the two together, so if we were gonna sew these two together, I'd fold it over, but what I would do is I would have this one on top. That way I can see where the two seam lines cross. So when I'm sewing my quarter inch, I want to go through that point. So let me go to the sewing machine and I'll show you what it will look like. Okay, so now I've taken it, I've got the top of the goose up on top so that I can see it. So I'm just going to sew my quarter of an inch. Now, when we get to this point right here, I want to make sure that my needle goes right through the center of the X. That way, when I take it over to the ironing board, and I press it, I have a perfect point. So that's it for this month. So go through, just follow the instructions, put all of your trees together and follow the colors and have fun making flying geese.